Hey guys, it's me Desktech and today I'm going to be reviewing Malignance Volume 2. Okay. So yeah, hi right, guys, as you can see, I'm finally back from my hiatus. You know, I uploaded uh, a review for Indefinite Recordings uh, yesterday, and yeah, now I'm going to be uploading this one, Malignant Volume 2, which came out like yesterday, literally, and it consists of 13 tracks, uh, which consists obviously of Murata, QK, All Made, which is a new one in this compilation, Papa Khan, Joe B, also is a new one in this compilation. Uh, Built Noise, and Akira, Guppy, and others more. So yeah, also, my hoodie finally came really yesterday. Oops, you can see. It literally arrived just on time for me to do this review. So let's just get to it. The first song of the compilation is by Marala, and it's called Wrath. Okay, so we're starting out real strong. That was a really good song by Marada. And you can already tell, well, if you don't know already, then, you know, if, um, there was a, you know, like a fiasco about this song specifically because Phase One made a song called Make It Bump, which sounds incredibly similar to this one. It's almost like an exact copy of this song, but you know, you have your differences between this one and um phase one is you know like the guitar bait like the guitar riffs and other stuff but yeah um if i have to decide which one i prefer raf or make it bump i actually prefer this one and you know uh phase one's kind of getting a little bit of hate because of what he did 
But, you know, it's in the past, and honestly, I couldn't give a shit. But, either way, I personally didn't expect Marauder to release this song. I was thinking it was gonna be in, uh, another one, but still, it's a pretty great one. And I also saw, like, in Instagram that someone made a comment about not using cuss words in this song. And I was like, seriously? Like, that's so stupid. That's really common for dubstep songs. And you like, don't like the song because it has cuss words? I mean, seriously, come on. What the fuck? So, yeah. Uh, still, pretty great song. And I actually enjoyed the intro because... You know, it has like that build up, that tension, you know, that's something like uh, this Marauder is well known for. And the alarm in the background, it also gave me a little bit of excision vibes. And then in the breakdown, uh, when it comes to that melody, that melody is just so good. It gives me a little bit of hyped up vibes. Didn't have that. So yeah, now moving on to the second song is by Hugh K and it's called Euro System. this one I mean it's kind of cool you know like the different take on this song but you know like the there wasn't any build up you know and yeah I just feel like it lacks a little bit and yeah for me in this part the the part that I enjoyed the most in this first drop was the second part of the first drop where it goes like uh like that effects like almost falling down and like a really glitchy and digital and yeah Okay, so this song, I mean, for me, it's not my favorite. Like, I commend him for the sound design. You know, it's really weird. It's like something he's really known for. And yeah, I just like, it's not my favorite because I feel like it lacks a little bit. But still, it's all right. Now, moving on to the third song. It's by Softotronic and it's called Vendetta.
I'll say this about the song. I like the flow of it. That's what I like the most. And but the sound design at the first listen to it, just like mm, I don't know. But when it comes to that second part of the draw, when it goes like what ta 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 like uh, almost like a wobbly bass, that part I really did enjoy. Okay, so yeah, this song for me personally, it really doesn't stand out too much. Uh, I mean, I commend him for the, the sound design, at least in the second part, because even that part, you know, gave me, like, I thought it was better than the first uh, part of the sound design, because it feels so staggering, and if I'm saying it right, and like, not too much, like, oomph in it, I don't know, like, you know, like, not too beefed up or something. Like, it feels like it's almost compressed, at least for me. Probably because of this, and the speakers, you know, I don't have it too loud because I don't want to bother my neighbors. But still, uh, probably if I hear my car, is probably going to get a different, different vibe from it. But who knows? Maybe it's something I need to listen again to vibe to it. Now, moving on to the fourth song. It's by our mates and it's called Vile Featuring Vile. <laughs>
Cause that that was really good. I really did enjoy that one. Like I love the creativity behind it. I like the sound design, the flow. I mean, everything about this song is really good. You know, I, even changing the genre a little bit in the breakdown that was even surprising to me. So yeah, this is a really solid track, and Ahmed really outdid himself on this one. So yeah. Now moving on to the fifth song is by none other than the man himself, Papa Khan, and this one's called Disable. Now I'll be honest, I kind of already heard of it, at least the first part of it, because I listened to the mix that he released, like a thousand track list or something like that. Uh, so yeah, I kind of already know what to expect, at least in the first drop. So yeah, and plus I'm also. I've been taking some lessons from Papa Khan and he showed me this song specifically and it's really freaking good. So let's just get to it. <laughs> those euphoric vibes. God, I think that the first part I didn't no oh, sorry I really wasn't expecting like in the first part of the drop was gonna you know be also solemn you know like like I was thinking it was gonna go a little bit melodic and then it was gonna go you know really heavy also this breakdown I really love this because you know it has like the future garage type of vibes it's really good So again, another great track by Papa Khan. 
I the first I really wasn't expecting like the first drop to be all heavy. Like I was expecting that the second drop was gonna be the first drop, but I guess I forgot about that. So, but still, it's pretty good. And I also love that outro. I mean, those pads are so clean and you know really good. They're just really good pads. I really enjoy those one. And yeah, it's, it's another good track by Papa Khan. So now moving on uh, to the sixth song is by Joe B, and it's called Fog Horny. Something with this compilation because the last compilation that I remember didn't have any drum and bass, at least I could tell. And this is something new for the for you know like the label, and it's really good. And also those hi hats sound so freaking good. <laughs> Yobi outdid himself on this that I really wasn't expecting at all for a drum and bass to be on this compilation and I'm glad it is, you know, expanding this genre, you know, uh, give me more, you know, variety. So really good. Now, and those hi-hats, one of the things that I enjoy most about this song was those hi-hats when it transitions like in the second part of the first drop. Like it just gives you those vibes, like you just want to dance to drum and bass all night long. Now moving on to the seventh song it is by Butte Noise and it's called Baboon. Thank you. 
like this song. And I love how he plays with those drums and the percussions. I mean, that's really good. Oh. Uh, so I really enjoyed this tune by Bill Noise and now that, that I don't listen to him that often but it was pretty good I really did enjoy it. the sound design is pretty freaking good those how he plays with those drums and those percussions I mean giving me uh, more variety to it and more like flavor you know it doesn't uh, let you constantly get repetitive and yeah it's just really fun to listen to Especially in the second drop where it changes the sound design and goes almost like a little bit like in a way future rhythm type of vibes. Like the like that melody almost gave me a little bit like phone on vibes, just a little bit. But yeah, really good on build noise. Now moving on to the eighth song of the compilation is by Akira and it's called Cloud Foo. <laughs> not bad I like the flow and the sound design is okay but for me honestly I barely can hear the sub bass this is because of the speakers uh -huh. Okay, so I'll say this. The only problem that I have with this song, honestly, is just I can barely hear the sub bass. Maybe if I hear it in my car, it probably I, then I can hear it there. But I don't know. I just feel like, like, kind of being a little bit better, you know, and be a little bit more beefed up because it was almost feels like it lacks just a little bit. And also that snare, like, you could change it throughout the song, like, at least. In the second part of the first drop, you could have changed it, you know, give it more like a variety and go like something like that. Change the snare at least, and not in the first drop, then at least in the second drop. But now, moving on to 
The ninth song of the compilation is by Executioner and it's called Salt Shaker. Because at first it was really something really empty. Okay, so yeah, this song, for me, what saved this song was that second part of the first round when it goes like, it's, like you're literally firing a laser gun and goes like, one, da, 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 one, da, da, like almost like a machine gun laser, like a machine laser gun, and yeah, that was that, that's the part that saved it for at least for me, because at the first part when you listen to the first drop, it sounds really really empty at least to me. I commend him for the sound design, you know, trying to experiment maybe and go a different route. But it was something really empty and again, what saved it was the second part. So yeah. Now moving on to the 10th song of the compilation is by Guppy and it's called Agony.
Okay, so I really like that song. Uh, at least in the first part, I was really wasn't liking how it was staggering in that song, like that, mm, mm, like that alarm. Like I really wasn't liking too much at the beginning because it was like staggering a little bit too much. But overall, the sound design was really good. You know, creativity, especially in the final drop when it changes the the beat. That really, that part uh, I really enjoyed. And yeah, I enjoyed more the first drop and the last drop than the second drop. The second drop was kind of like, it was good, but like the first sound design, at least the first bass that you listen to is kind of like, eh. But other than that, really good song. The overall, it's a really good song. But now moving on to the 11th song on the track is by Ninda. And it's called Yo Yes. First, I really wasn't loving the intro because those drums like really felt really empty. But when it dropped, the, I really enjoyed that part. It was really heavy, especially in like the second part of the first drop. That part was even more better. That was really good. That was a really heavy track and I really enjoyed it. Now moving on to the 12th song of the compilation is by Stag and it's called Dark Figure. Good night, John. Look, 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 wait, Dad. Aren't you gonna check the closet for monsters? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.
so this song to me sounds like something you would definitely hear in like in a sudden death set like something like that gives you that vibe So yeah, this was a pretty good song as well. Really heavy, really dark. You know, it fits the the title of the song. It also fits the theme of the song. And yeah, again, I'll say this again. Like it's something like I could definitely hear in like in you know, a sudden death set or like sudden death void set. Like I can already see the visuals. Like you have like that dark figure. You know, like the like a demon or you know, like Satan. You know, like rep representation of Satan or. Whatever, and like something really dark, like in the visuals, and like it's marching, and also it gave me a little bit like Viking rhythm type of vibes. I don't know if that what he was going for, but still is really good. It's really good. Now moving on to the last song of the compilation is by BK, and it's called Jaded. Now I'll say this: once when when I saw the preview for the compilation, I thought that uh, Marala was gonna release. This collab with DK, but uh, I don't know if he has a collab with DK. I think it's with Agony. Agony, he has a collab with. So, yeah. This competition real strong, real like real heavy. Track that no one grabbed their attention.
Okay, sorry about that. So that's it. That's the Malignant Volume 2. Uh, we really hope you enjoy. And yeah, I just had to say like the songs that stood out for me the most were Mariah's Wrath, obviously. Uh, All Mates Vile, Return Vile. Papa Khan's Disabled. Joe B's Fog Horny. Um, Butte Noise Baboon. Uh, Executioner's Salt Shaker. Guppy's Agony. Ninda's no Joe Yes, Stag Dark Figure, and DK Jaded. Those tens are my favorites. And yeah, I really enjoyed those ones because, like, you know, like, it had you know, its own flavor to it. Like, there's some of them, especially Execution of Salt Shaker, was at first was really empty, but then it picked up its energy by in the second part of the first drop. So that's what saved it. And yeah. Again, if I had to choose between Marauders, Wrath, and Phase Ones, make it bump. Obviously, Marauders, Wrath would win because it just has a like a better vibe to it. And the second part, when is, you have that pre-drop, you just it, uh, it like it, I can. I say it surprises you for a little bit. Like it feels like he's going to do another song that he uh, released as Mog, at least a clip of the song, which was pretty good, but still. I just have to say the this volume is really good. I like that the fact that they changed it a little bit, you know, added some drum and bass to it, you know, because in the first one it didn't have that, at least that I remember. And yeah, it was pretty good overall. So thank you guys for watching. Uh please leave a like and subscribe if you want to. And click on the notification bell to keep you guys updated on my next videos. And yeah, this is Dexx signing off.